to meet you. I've been following your career a little bit. You're a very impressive young lady. Thank you. What is the most valuable life lesson you learned throughout your career? The most valuable life lesson that I've learned throughout my career um, is, is thing, even if it's not the thing that makes you the most money or makes you the most popular, to be a good person um, is something that's ultimately, I think, the most important. I completely agree. You got to do what's right even if it doesn't benefit you. That's true. What is your proudest professional moment? Oh my goodness. Um, hmm. So there are a lot of proud professional moments I have. And generally, I wouldn't say that winning an award is something to be proud of because there are a lot of other things to be proud of. But um, my father passed away and I won an award um, after he passed away. And it was very interesting to win an award knowing that he wasn't physically able to, to see that. But I felt very proud as his daughter um, to have won that award. So that was a very meaningful moment. That sounds so proud, and I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. You're welcome. And I read your new, your new book, Girling Up, and I really loved it. Can you tell me more about it? I wrote Girling Up as a sort of guidebook for girls who are um, a little bit older than you, between the ages of 10 and 18, to explain some of my experience growing up and some of the challenges and some of the neat things about growing up female. I really also like your book because um, there's a part of it in... The section about you, it said um, that you really like doing arts and crafts and you make those pot holders. Um, I weave those too. You do? Yeah. What colors do you like to do? Uh, I do pink and purple and I make them as gifts for my parents. That's really neat. Thank I don't you. make mine in pink and purple, but that's cool. What colors do you make them in? Um, sometimes UCLA colors. And my mom, when she would paint our kitchen like a different color when I was a kid, we would make pot holders to match the new color of the curtains on the walls. That sounds so great. Yeah. <laughs> And can you tell me something about yourself hardly anyone else knows? Something about me that hardly anyone else knows. It's kind of a weird thing. Can I tell you a weird thing? Okay. I like tiny pom-poms. You know, like the kind they sell in craft stores? Yeah. And I usually carry one in my pocket. That sounds great. <laughs> what color pom-poms? Um, well, let's see. Um, I had a red one, and then I lost it, and then I got a white one. Do you have any in your pockets right now? No, I don't have any pockets right now. Oh. But I brought a whole package in my purse. Oh. And Shana, and no one knew that until this second. <laughs> okay, tiny, <laughs> tiny, uh, tiny, like, uh, football thingies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Teeny, tiny pom-poms. Yeah, pom-poms. Yeah, but not my big ones. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you have a very successful website called Grok Nation. Can you tell me more about it? I, I do, thank you. Grok Nation is a website I started, I started for people who collect thoughts and not things. So we have a lot of interesting articles. I mean, I think they're interesting. Um, I write some of them and, and other writers write others. And what we want to do is we want to have a website where the things that people sometimes feel yucky about talking about, we talk about in an honest and open way so that we can learn things about each other. Yeah. And um, that also relates that, um, that how you write about articles that people don't collect things but they collect thoughts. Uh -huh. um, I know that grok means to listen, to listen and to understand. Right, it means to understand something so deeply that it becomes part of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I always in my interviews with the question, what is your favorite meal and dessert? Oh my gosh, what a great question. I like food a lot. Um, I'm a vegan person, which means I don't eat any animals or any animal byproducts. Um, but when I was a child, my mother used to make something called Chicken a la King. And she now makes a vegan version of it. So um, Chicken a la King is like a, usually like a mushroom cream sauce with peas and pimentos. But I don't like mushrooms, but she always puts them in anyway. But everything else about the vegan Chicken a la King she makes is awesome. It's a vegan chicken and then over white rice with this like cream sauce with peas and mushrooms and pimentos. That sounds so yummy. It's really good when you're sick. Like if you don't feel good, cause it's like comfort food. I like chicken soup a lot when I'm sick. That's very like comfort food, like you said. I make vegan chicken soup and it kind of tastes like it. <laughs> that sounds yummy. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to interview with me today and I really enjoyed getting to know you. Thank you so much for taking the time. This was a really wonderful and enjoyable interview. Thank you. And Rose Reporter readers, make sure that you watch Maya and Bialik on the Big Bang Theory on CBS.